Let's go to the nightclub and then go to our house. Baby girl, you know I got what you need. Please stop calling me that or else I'm gonna I'm gonna drain you to death. Yo, man, I've had a taste stop for that kind of stuff today. It's kind of addicting. David Duchovny sick, signed, sealed, and certified. Is Hello. that it? Koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here, only here. So right now we we have seven points. We can put it into like security and whatever so that we can use the books. I don't know though. Do we want to? I mean I guess so. Three points. What was the other one? Finance? Is finance important? Haggle? Your character's ability to evaluate market value of items. Finance is needed for the haggle feed. <laughs> that doesn't give me anything. Haggle for better prices. Okay. Well, let's do security for now because... Lockpicking? Always a good thing, right? Yep. Six points. You know, it might be a better idea for us to put more points into security and then wait. Oh. I forgot I accepted just now. Hold on. I'll do one in security. Right, because this book, it just says it raises my security skill. So isn't it possible for me to um, wait? For example, if I wait until I have four points already, and then the last one would cost a lot, as opposed to using it right now, where I'm only gonna be saving six points. Would that be a better idea? Maybe. Yeah, I'll hold on to the book for now. Excuse me! Hey, move. I beg your pardon. Yes, thank you. Officially, the Camarilla does not recognize the existence of antediluvians or Kane. I didn't see the next line. What did it say about how vampires came about? Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Five hundred dollars! Thanks, keep it coming. I'm with somebody. Okay, I didn't ask. Jeez. Alrighty. How's my favorite ghoul doing back at the apartment? More importantly, I'm really interested to see if the security guard- Good evening. Does he come back, or is he really gone for real? That would be kind of sad. Why didn't he regrow his blood or something, though? It's been so long, come on! Oh, man. That really was permanent. Oh, well. <laughs> Nothing we can do anything about anymore. Oh. <sighs> It's been a long day. Hey, Heather. Oh, is that for me? There's nothing inside. Can we turn on the TV or something? Oh, we can! Amidst concerns that it is related to one of a number of Southeastern Asian terrorist organizations based in the region, three American citizens are among the missing. The search for an L.A. sewer worker is beginning to look grim as police and family end their seventh night looking for Luis Salvador after he failed to return home last Friday. Salvador was last seen entering a manhole in Hollywood to carry out a routine inspection. Salvador's family is hopeful that the husband and father of three will return safely and urge anyone who might have seen Salvador to contact the police. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Ugh. Senator Lindbergh called the game's pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. <laughs> Protesters say that extended media attention towards exploitive games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental <laughs> awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the taboo-themed games. 
Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago, Spain, after several pilgrims claim to have seen statues of the Madonna begin crying blood. The site dates back to the period of the Romans and has several reported weeping virgin sightings throughout its history. One pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six statues at around sunset and that the courtyard felt full of sadness. Skeptics have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked, and witnesses are no more credible than those that report UFOs. The Southland Slasher struck again, this time in downtown Los Angeles. Oh. The body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison past and the slasher. We'll have a full report on this story later tonight. Simon Milligan, host of local cable show Haunted L.A., and his oh, crew no. missing tonight. The team of the popular Supernatural-themed program were filming around downtown Los Angeles, according to the show's producer. But friends and family of the crew started to worry when they failed to return from a night of shooting. No trace has been found yet of the Haunted L.A. team, and rumors by the show's fans speculate the crew met a supernatural end, though police disagree and have started a sweep of the areas where the crew was filming. A tourist oh no. bus destined for the ancient city of Angkor Wat that failed to return Wednesday night was found this morning, though without any trace of its operator or passengers. Cambodian officials have oh, dispatched I've had enough of units into the depressing area. news for one night. I almost feel the weight of my sins just... Well, weighing down on me. Mmm. Simon Milligan. That's kind of an ironic end though, huh? He was filming a he was filming a paranormal show, and now he's met a paranormal end. But they did say that the police are gonna sweep the area, so Pisha might want to be careful. Hey Heather. Oh, you're back. I um I went out this evening and I well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so What? I, he came back here with me and well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. You brought a person back into my house? Without my permission? You did what? Where is he? Uh, in the bathroom. I, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? I don't know yet. I'll see what I can do. Oh my, what? You sit down. You you just sit down on the couch, okay? I You're talking about this bathroom, right? You're my ghoul, so you're okay with the vampire stuff. What about this person? He's being locked here. He might call the police. We're going to be found out. Oh, it's not this one. <laughs> you You really shouldn't be doing things without asking me first. Hey. Oh, he is. He is in a coma. Hey, let me out of here. What are you doing? Come on, it is. Come on. Oh, man, I gotta find a way out of this stupid room. What the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. <sighs> Look, my sister. She's a little nuts. I'll let you go. Maybe you'll forget about this. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, I never should have left her alone. My apologies. <laughs> Your apologies? As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. You would really do that to someone like me? Now, I didn't mean it. I, I should have known there was something wrong with that broad. <laughs> Look, I'll give you money. Whatever you want. Just let me go, all right? Please, don't kick my ass. Oh, man, I think I just shit myself. Clean that up before you get out of here. Hmm. Give me everything you got, and you walk out of here unscathed. Yeah, yeah, here. Take it. Take it all. Just please don't hit me. Fifty dollars. I was gonna let you out of here, but you weren't- you weren't being cooperative, so that's your punishment. Get out of here. Say a word and I'll find you, and you'll regret it. Make fly. Stupid door. I 
hope you clean up the crap. I don't want my bathroom dirty here. Heather! Heather, Heather, I need to have a, a talk with you. I appreciate what you did, but could you not... Could you not do that? Even though I'm not even full on blood right now, and I would have loved to drain that guy, but... Master? I let him go. Never ever do that again, Heather. I'm really, really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I can't stay mad at you. Fine. Apology accepted. See you later, Heather. Yikes. I thought you don't do things without my permission, but you were... You were taking the initiative and all that. Oh, why is the aspect ratio on this wrong? Hey, we got two unread email. Sunrise. A gambit. From a friend. A gambit has been played. The king leaves himself open. The king might be LaCroix. The Camarilla Prince certainly would be a king. Who else would be the king, if not him? Business in Hollywood, from LaCroix. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. SL. Wow, this sounds like ultra grunt work. But I guess that's what we do because we are a lackey. Sure. Let's delete some... Apparently, if we have too much mail, we can't get new more... Wait. Email for suckhead? Why does my email thing say email for suckhead? Apparently, if we have too many emails, we can't get any more new ones. So, can we delete some... Spam? Yep. A reminder. Mercurio? And Mercurio, we didn't go back to his house yet. His apartment. Maybe we should too, before we go to Hollywood. Don't touch the butter. Yeah, that's... That's spam. Even though I am very curious about what this butter touching competition is all about, but uh, not today. I'm okay for now. Okay. Well. Seems like a lot of things have happened while I was gone. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've turned into the Deb of Night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323-KL5-KTRK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, uh, insects. Insects? As in you have an insect problem? Or chirping crickets are keeping you up? Or you have nightmares about them? Help me out here. No, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your Stop. nose. Stop! You, you can't prevent it if you're asleep. I mean, you, what can you do? Are there any scientists out there listening to this? Um, I, I read something. I, I don't know where. But do you know the average person eats several pounds of insects a year? The majority of that weight is composed of roaches, ants, and spiders. Just knowing that as soon as you close your eyes... A big fat centipede is gonna drop into your mouth and crawl down your throat. Ah! I can't do it. I never sleep at night. You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. So, you never <laughs> sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at work. And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Let's see who else we got. <gasps> okay, we'll we'll finish the rest some other time. How come there's no subtitles? I prefer the subtitles too. Is that true though? I heard that's a hoax. As you hear people talking about how, oh, when you go to sleep, spiders crawl into your ear and your mouth and every orifice in your body and all that stuff, but I don't I hope it's a hoax. <sighs> it's you. Earlier tonight, you weren't following me, were you? I had this feeling like I was being watched. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm still a little shook up. 
Hey girl, you better not lead anybody to my house, okay? I'm serious. I feel like... I mean, I guess I want her around. I don't want to ask her to leave. And she doesn't have anybody. I'm all she's got. So I kind of feel bad for her too. If she stays here, maybe she can, I don't know, use a kitchen and cook some meals for herself. It wasn't me. It could be one of a number of people who want me deader. <laughs> deader. Want you dead? Why? How could anyone think of harming someone so extraordinary? All of these are kind of controlling. <laughs> Promise me to stay indoors? That's kind of... Uh, jealousy, probably. You just be careful, okay? My pet... <sighs> Did you have to add the my pet? <laughs> I will. Uh, good. Now come here. I need your blood. Oh, you're gonna... Are you gonna die? Can I kill her? Oh, this is... Okay, okay, that's, that's enough, that's enough. Oh, she can't even talk anymore. Damn, it's really interesting seeing all of her conversations, but every time I come back and see her, it's like... Oh, I feel kinda... I feel kinda not good. Which is exactly why we're gonna get out of here now. Okay, bye, Heather. Bye. What about the newspaper? Stolen artifact and current sarcophagus stolen from museum. Hmm. Yeah, it's been stolen. By who? Who could have gone in and gotten out without any of the guards knowing? I guess the chances of it being the Nosferatu, that could be pretty high. Because they turn invisible and all that. But they were carrying out an entire sarcophagus. How could anybody not notice that? Those guards. Good thing I made sure the museum had to hire new guards, because otherwise... How are they going to keep up with their security? They can't. Well, okay, well, I suppose... Oh, this is where Nocturne was. Yeah, it's closed, but we... Oh, that's where it was. So just because... Just because the front door is closed, it doesn't mean we can't get in then. Huh. Anyway. This probably means it's time for us to uh, go to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. The prince has contacted you through email and asked that you convince food critic Tommy Flayton to give the cafe Cavoletti a bad review. This is so petty. This is so petty. LaCroix, this is so damn petty, man. Okay, whatever you say, you're the boss, not me. Need a ride? I do. Get me out of here. We're gonna become superstars in Hollywood. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Wow, I've been here for all of one second. And I've already been hunted down. And you might be? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. And what if maybe I don't want to see Isaac? Heh, <laughs> you do. Huh. I don't like your attitude. You gonna make me? Ha! <laughs> Waste of effort. That's it? I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Alright, I'll go see him. End of the alley. Isaac's inside. He sounded so threatening at first, but it really amounted to, Hey, go see Isaac. Or else, okay? Or else. But he didn't have anything to back it up. <laughs> Alright. Hollywood! Hollywood. It's not quite business districty like downtown, but it seems pretty alive all the same. Red spot, beer, wine, tobacco, pipes, ice cream. <laughs> One of these things seem a little bit different. All right. Well, space burgers. 
for a oh, food for the space age. There's a little halo on the burger. I thought it was a plate. No, it's a halo. <laughs> All right, well, let's visit. Isaac's in the jewelry store, but I'm gonna grab a bite. And you've tuned into the dead of night. Nobody to fall asleep next to. Go ahead and pull the radio. Cigarettes. That's what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Don't buy this stuff, man. You don't know how long they've been here. Could be years. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Uh, insects. Insects. As yeah, we'll listen to the end of this, why not? Or chirping crickets are keeping you up, or do you have <laughs> nightmares about them? Help me out here. No, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. Pain and suffering. If you're asleep, Doggies. You, Dead you bird. Do? Mayday. Are scientists out there listening to this? Uh, Worm I, energy. I, I, I don't know where, but do you know the average Crack you on the ass. Cut you with broken glass. Choke you until you gas. We're going to have a bad What was that? Was that you? I can't do it. I never sleep at night. You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. So, you never sleep at night. Oh. you do sleep, right? How long have those been cooking? And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Oh boy. Let's see who else we got. Okay, let's listen to the rest. What do you do for a living? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but I've got some really good ideas for some stories that are crawling around in the old noggin. <laughs> so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet I'll doesn't scream. make me a plumber, right? What you see. Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor or director? Don't you oh, because it's Hollywood. Service to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not or not even trained to do? Um, no. I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. Line two. Are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. Oh. And would you please state <laughs> what you do for a living? I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studios. Perfect. Do you read a lot of screenplays? Don't get me started. Well, for our writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, line two? Bye, Tell me, dude. Well, um, okay. So, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay. Uh, okay, so this guy, he's... Well, he's like a an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really work for the main FBI. And uh, he's got this partner who's new and really cute, but she's also a really good agent. And they're like assigned to this bizarre case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh-huh. And then, like, something happens and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but... Like, the guy agent notices, like, how the killer seems to know everything he's doing, like, one step ahead of him. And then there's this kind of, you know, weird chase scene. And then, like, we find out that the guy's got two personalities. <gasps> and, like, he finds out in the end that he's the killer. <gasps> and then he's kidnapped his own partner. Well, Line 2, what do you think? You're going to option it or not? Uh, writer dude? Roger. Uh, Roger, would you like my professional opinion? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Wisconsin. Okay. I want you to get all your stuff together... And then I want you to move back to Wisconsin. That's a little cold, Lance. How rude. That's Hollywood, baby. Maybe it's just too good for you. Uh, no, dude, it's not. Break it up, you two. Final thoughts, guys? Wisconsin. I have some other things I'm working on, too. I got some pretty good ideas for video games, I think. If anyone's interested in hiring me, my number is 213... Sorry, Roger. The I only watch. one that gets to give out their number on this show is me. And if anyone was thinking of asking what I'm wearing, that number again is 323-KL5-KTRK. We're going to take a short commercial break, but that doesn't mean you can stop thinking about me. What's KL5KTRK? Does your penis always seem to be getting in the way? <laughs> I got the last of the groceries, honey. I just need to close the trunk. Ow! Oh, 
One more nail and this birdhouse would be as good as new. Yo! I'm sorry, sir. This dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Tuck. Don't let your penis interfere with the quality of your life anymore. I have performed over 300 sex changes in my career, and not one oh of my, my patients has ever asked for their tackle box back. Come to Tuck Sex Exchange in the next month, and I'll give you a free estimate. Don't let your peace interfere with your peace of mind. Tuck Sex Exchange, located off Beverly Drive. Look for the sign with Toothy, the surgical saw. Tired of sluggish internet access? Mom! Yes! The internet's all slow again. I'm not your mom. I'm the creature that evolved out of your mom. Sick of unwanted spam? Oh, oh, another email I'll message watch. from my old college roommate, Rod Uges. Oh, oh, my... Computer problems make it frustrating to log on? Yes. Error 432, network access remote server memory allocation assessment table exceeded. Hard drive reformatting will now commence. What? Looking for something that requires no logons, no unwanted email, coherent sentences, and no technical problems whatsoever? Read a book. Books. The original <laughs> internet. Terrorists are prepared to destroy the largest dam in America. Again. If then she bomb goes off, this Hoover will be caught with his panties down. And only this renegade cop and his ex-wife's manicurist stand between destruction and unexpected love. I'll just file you as DOA. This summer, all bets are off. The heat is on. The fix is in. The dogs are out. The game is up. The chips are down. The stakes are high. The odds are low. The danger is huge. The payoff is slim. Friendships will be made. Rules will be broken. Wrongs will be <laughs> righted. And no unturned stone will be left. Uh... Get ready to be turned inside out and upside down. Hoover 2, Hydroelectric Boogaloo. <laughs> the best damn movie you'll see this year. I'm pretty convinced. When I'm the reverse Poindexter 540 to Ollie Northbound the Contraband, I can't think about being bloated. That's why every morning I down a pound ground, a gentle extreme laxing sports drink. Because when you're pulling a wicked skill cross 720, you don't want anything to slow you down. Oh. The moon Lots is out, of <laughs> everyone's in dreamland, and you've turned into All death right. at night. Death, death, spend, 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 sex, sex, sex. Happy Mother's <laughs> Day. Are you practicing? Ah, okay. I think we kind of got a feel for what Hollywood's going to be like. Because I guess Hollywood, I mean, the general impression that people have of it is movies, entertainment, the arts, that sort of thing. So people who are in Hollywood, they're trying to make it big. Just like that writer guy. By the way, I completely disagree. You don't have to publish anything to call yourself a writer. If you like to write recreationally, you're a writer. I've read plenty of things that are, you know, supposedly not published uh, conventionally, but are still way better than actual published products. So that's not really an indication of how good of a writer you are. And this guy here, he seems to be... maybe he wants to be a singer. He's working towards his dream, but for now, he's working at a... red spot. Hello! What's up? Oh... Uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents, blah blah. You need help or something? Yeah, what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always! You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. Mm. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. No cover for chicks. We're gonna ruin the place. He's got a band. Interesting. Anything else I should know about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn the girls in there, dude. It's like a midget smuggling ring in there. Uh, what? If you're into that kind of thing, I mean. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, baby. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapeple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? Grapeple juice? <laughs> Wait, 
You're selling weapons out of a convenience store? Yo, keep it down. Shh. It's just my side gig, you know. New amps and lap dances don't pay for themselves, dude. Yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do to make ends meet. Alright, show me what you got. Cold Anaconda. $400. We got so much money, I haven't used it at all. At all. A... How do you pronounce this? I actually have no clue, like, .44? Point forty four Magnum revolver. Feeling lucky, punk? A large caliber monster with a with the power to stop almost anyone dead in his tracks. Alternate fire mode. Fan. Fan. Okay. The bullets. Sledgehammer. One hundred dollars. Mainly combat requirement five. Damage potential thirty three. A heavy hammer ostensibly used for construction. Great for getting that song out of someone's head, as well as anything else inside. My current melee weapon right now... Oh, I got a baton from the police. The security guard. Back at the museum. Fire axe. Damage potential, 26. But lethality is higher. Does it really matter so much? Should I buy it or should I save my money? If I sell this, I can buy a new one. Yeah, this one's 109. But if I sell it for that much, it basically implies that this one might be a better weapon than this one, right? Especially because the lethality is a little bit higher. Combat requirement is the same. I'll hold off for now, even though we have so much money, we don't really need to. <laughs> Alright. Hola. Yo. Hear anything new about the serial killer? Uh, this isn't gonna turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Oh, you've been living here for too long. No. What else goes on around here? Anything interesting? Always. You should come out and see my band, Ebola Cereal. I didn't even catch that. Ebola Cereal. Can I ask how you came up with that name? Late shift, huh? Those colors look suspiciously like a... At first glance, I thought it was product placement. And the name. Sepsi. Sepsi. Hamburger. Moth mothers. Well, it's a quiet night, and uh, what about the money clip we see here? Will anyone get mad at me? I don't know. Maybe when no one's looking? 25? Somebody left 25 in here. For me. I'm not sure we can go in there, but I can probably go into the washroom. If you'll excuse me. Don't drop trash here, there's not even a garbage can. Please! Keep, stop, sink... Oh, what? Keep, slop, sink, clean. At all times. Thank you. Honestly, these are unisex. Why do they even... Categorize it by gender. They don't need to. <laughs> well, you can't. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? You do have a weapon store. And I don't wanna piss you off because, you know, you sell weapons and all that. But it does say employees only. And we all know what happened the last time I went into a employees only door. We're in. We're in the mainframe. Oh! <laughs> that, that's it. That's it. Okay, after all of that, I've completely forgotten where Isaac is. The jewelry store? This seems shady. Caroline's. Oh, this is... This is spooky. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, this would be really nice in the daytime. But very unfortunately, it's just closed now. Maybe it's a restaurant. Oh, I feel like we've wandered too far away from the, um, the big streets already. What's this? We should probably go to the jewelry store, though. Oh, it's a club. 
It's a club, but there's no music playing. Is it too early in the day? Maybe. Uh... No. Oh, there's something there. Is that cool? Whoa, what? This guy has like a sword. What the hell? Uh, how about I come back later? Hmm. What is this place? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I messed something up with uh, the music, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. What is this? Asshole? Oh, hmm. Hmm, okay. I'll, I'll make a note of it. And we'll come back here and properly explore next time. Metalhead Industries. I saw a graffiti of this. Right, it was right here. Oh, now we're back to the beginning. Um, man, I've completely forgotten where Isaac is. <laughs> Do we have other quests? Not really. Oh, if we're in Hollywood, we should be looking for Lucky Star. Which is... right here. Right here? Really? Whoa. Okay, thanks.